CataractCoach.com Efficient DMEC Technique. That's decimate membrane endothelial keratoplasty. Now, this is a nice technique to just transplant that inner layer. Here you can see there's the entire donor cornea and probably been prepared a little bit in advance. Now, in the USA, we're very spoiled. We can actually get these tissues already pre-prepared. Not only cut to the right size, the correct thickness that you want, you can get them already stained with tripan blue dye. You can already get them marked with a directional, like a letter S, so you can see if it's upside down or the correct way. You can even get them already loaded into an injector. So we have a lot easier technique here. Now, certainly is preparing the graft, injecting to separate out that layer with tripan blue dye. And now here's the trephine. So this is a lot more work than the way I'm so spoiled, the way I get it, I'm lucky. And so here's the graft, nice and easy, getting that out. And make sure you're aware of how it's curled up. Now here's the eye. And what we have to do, obviously, is strip off the existing decime layer. So bring in a pupil constriction down. There's a little bit of an air bubble. Notice there's already an inferior peripheral iridotomy that's been made. And now going in with a reverse Sinsky hook and then tracing around and scraping and scoring that endothelial layer, that decime membrane, and then we're gonna peel the whole thing off. Much easier to do this with the air bubble if you haven't done this before because it aids in visualization. Now we even have videos here on Cataract Coach of OCT, OCT guided, intraop OCT, and we can guide ourselves during a DMEC procedure. So here, surgeons are doing a great job just getting that existing tissue off, and you would want to get it off in just one big piece. It's a lot easier, and so nice and easy, taking your time here. Again, if you need to refill the air bubble, because that air bubble is what aids you in visualization. Sometimes we'll put the air bubble and put a tiny plug of dispersive viscoelastic right at the paracentesis, just a small plug to help keep the air in the eye so it doesn't come out. So surgeon's done a really efficient job with this, beautifully done. And then once this is removed, we'll get the new layer in the eye. Now, I learned DMEC by watching videos just like you watch videos. Some of the more important videos for me were Martin Dirksen's technique, and then also Peter Velden from Chicago, brilliant surgeons and brilliant techniques. If you go to the cataractcoach.com website, you will actually can look for those. There's a whole section on these, and you can learn from the videos that help teach me. And so they're getting out the, uh, the host tissue there, now coming in for the graft. And so, yep, just a little bit of BSS going in first. Now, be careful in doing this, and remember to check out the Cataract Coach podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. Yeah, it's really that good. It'll teach you to be a better surgeon. So when we're doing this, you get the graft in, it can easily fall right back out the main incision. So you want to be very careful in placing it, and then use that para to flatten the AC a little bit. Now, how do you unfold it? There are many techniques here of understanding the origami of the way it's folded. And these are, again, best videos I found were from Martin Dersamer and then also from Peter Veldman. All those videos are on cataract coach. Now, here, don't overinflate it because it can come right out your incision. Once you take your time and get this thing inflated to appropriate size, there we go. Once it's going to be fully unrolled, just we'll place an air bubble inside the eye. And so flattening out pretty nicely here. Many techniques, many ways of doing a DMX surgery. Certainly, it's well within the realm of a cataract surgeon to learn how to do this. It's not in, in completely um, foreign to them. You have the great skills, the great hands. And so, again, opening this up, using those two spatulas to just tap, tap, tap. Sometimes I just use like two BSS cannulas, 27-gauge cannulas. And then you can really get this opened up just where you want it. And as it opens up, You'll see, there it is, beautifully centered. Like, that's it. Duracemer technique, you got it. Beautiful. Now all he needs is an air bubble inside the eye, and you can choose what gas you like and what concentration. And here at the end, sealing it up. If you want some recommendations for gas and concentrations, that's on cataractcoach.com teaching website. You just search for all the DMEG videos, and I promise you'll find it. And there we go. There's a BCL on the end of the case. You should don't do that. But that looks fantastic. Here you go, post-op, beautifully positioned graft. And there's the air bubble kind of disappearing after a while. And the patient's going to have a beautiful OCT image. And look at that, restored the anatomy. Clear cornea, beautiful result. Thanks for watching. Remember, the number one podcast of all about the is the Cattle Coach Podcast every week teaches you how to be a better, more successful surgeon.